politicians love to ask stupid questions like, how is this going to help me be reelected? Or, will this hurt my reelection chances? They ask this question in everything, literally everything. They wake up like, is waking up today going to help me be reelected? That's literally how they think. So when Donald Trump and Joe Biden go to the border, they're not asking, how do I solve this border crisis? Every step that they make, they ask themselves, will this get me reelected? And so it actually reflects on what they do at the border. You have Joe Biden, who literally is surrounded by the creepiest of the creeps, and they just they shuffle him here, they shuffle him there, they shake some, they shake some hands, and it looks really stupid. He's very frail, very old, and they bring him down a path. That looks great. Donald Trump, on the other hand, he's going there, and he's he's not even by the border right now. He's meeting everyone, everyone's shaking everyone's hands, everyone loves him. They're crowding around him. So it's basically a PR stunt. Both of them are not there to solve the border crisis or see the border crisis. They've gotten very detailed documents, video, everything about what's happening in the border. The president doesn't need to go down to the border to know what's happening. He's getting a lot of very updated, detailed information. He knows better than you. He knows better than me. He knows better than 99% of Americans. He probably even knows better than the Americans currently living on our southern border. That's not why they're going down. They're going down to try to get reelected, both of them. And here's the thing. They went down to Texas. Whoops. The border crisis in Texas has been kind of stopped for a little bit for the past few weeks because Governor Grant Abbott has sent their they basically they've they've sealed the border over there and instead of thousands pouring across the border it's been hundreds and so it's a lot less of an issue in Texas right now Arizona and California are popping with unprecedented numbers and it's been streaming across there they've been diverted now not everyone has been able to be to be diverted because they've already been traveling towards Texas for a while so you still have some going across the Texas border but most of the people right now are going to California and Arizona. So they've completely missed the actual border crisis. They know this. They know that California is the hotspot. They know that Arizona are the hot, they know those states are the hotspots. But Joe Biden and Donald Trump, they're not going there because then they'd actually show the crisis in its full fury and they wouldn't be able to solve it because it wouldn't help them politically to solve it 100% right now. So they're going to Texas, where there's a few, 10, 20 people crossing the border, which is ridiculous because again, everything that politician does, when they breathe, like, is breathing right now, would that help me get elected or would it help my opponent get elected? That's literally what they do. And it's just insane. But it's not just a border crisis because it's, it goes further than that. Eric Adams right now, his aide, his like top aide is getting um, investigated by the FBI for months already. And every time he opens his mouth, every single time he opens his mouth, the FBI goes a little bit further. So today, the FBI raided his aide's, his aide's house and took a bunch of documents and boxes and things like that. Because three days ago, he said, we have to restructure this whole sanctuary city thing. It's not working out. Boom, FBI is knocking down on the door. That's how it works. Because remember, it's all about the reelection thing. And here's the thing. If the Democrats are able to act Eric Adams, who's kind of a little bit more to the center, even though he's extremely to the left, more than other Democrats, and he's more to the center than other Democrats in New York City, but still super left. If he actually is able to restructure it and, and it looks good, it's going to look bad for the Democrats because they've been clamoring for years now that no, zero restructuring should be done. Zero restructuring to the sanctuary city. They, they don't want it amended at all. And Eric, if Eric Adams is able to switch it and then suddenly the city gets a little bit better and everything gets a little bit better, it's going to look really, really bad. So therefore, they can't do it. They just can't do it. And so therefore, they're going to send the FBI after him. They're going to send everything after him. They're going to destroy his life. They obviously don't want to do it right away, so they're going to destroy his age life and hopefully he'll get the message and stop. The point is the politicians never, not just don't have you in, in their minds, they don't even have themselves in their mind. All, they don't have anything. All they care about They'll look embarrassed. They'll destroy their own lives. They'll throw their families under the bus. How can I get re-elected? What today? What am I doing today? Will it help me get re-elected, or help me not? It will or will not help me get re-elected? And that's it. It's insane. That's all I care about. They don't care about you. Facts. That's it. See you next video. Subscribe. Share this video. I hear sharing is caring. Sharing is good. I should stop using this very stupid saying. I also like the video and comment. Love comments. I read all the comments. I respond to them. It's like a free Palestine comment. We're just going to ignore it. 
I, I don't read comments, so I will definitely probably see a comment. So leave a comment and uh, see you next video. Also subscribe. Uh, yeah, you see, you see that comment and share the video.